Welcome to the Oregon Department of Forestry. I'm Christine Buell, forest entomologist with the Forest Health Program. In this video, we'll be discussing insects, specifically bark beetles. Our Forest Health Program consists of me, the entomologist, our forest pathologist who looks at tree diseases, our invasive species specialist who looks at non-native plants and insects, and our aerial survey specialist. The best way to prevent insect outbreaks is to encourage tree health. Several different ways of doing this include planting the right species in the right place, thinning and reducing competition, removing stressed and damaged trees, and disposing of slash and blow down in a timely manner. Bark beetles are some of our smallest but most damaging forest insect pests. Trees can defend themselves against small numbers of beetles, but large numbers of beetles can overcome a tree's defenses. Bark beetles are about the size of a grain of rice or smaller. They attack trees by burrowing under the bark and creating galleries which girdle or cut off vascular tissues. They also carry fungus known as blue stain or sap stain which clogs vascular tissues and hastens tree death. For bark beetles, these features can include frass, which is sawdust kicked out by the beetle as it enters the tree, fungus carried in by the beetle that causes wood staining, galleries created underneath the bark, streaming pitch or pitch tubes created by the tree to push the beetles out or when a tree is partly or completely dead. Discolored crowns indicating tree death may occur one year after bark beetle attack, although during stressful periods such as during drought, it may occur within the same year of attack. Trees have natural defenses. One of these is pitch. They use pitch to push bark beetles out of the tree. A tree that is stressed does not produce enough pitch and can be overcome by bark beetles. Bark beetles are attracted to their preferred host via volatiles. Volatiles are chemicals that either attract or repel insects. Stress trees emit additional volatiles. These volatiles are highly attractive to bark beetles, and they can be caused by damage such as fire, drought, and other types of damage. Bark beetles also emit chemicals. These are called pheromones, and they can attract or repel. Bark beetles will use them to attract mates or more beetles of their species to the tree to overcome the tree's defenses. Once there are enough beetles that have overcome the tree's defenses, they then switch to repel. When there are many stressed trees in a stand, it can create a breeding ground for bark beetle population outbreaks. These are examples of pitch tubes. Here's a pitch tube that has successfully pushed out a bark beetle. And you can see exit holes where bark beetles that have entered actually created a brood gallery and then the first generation exited the tree. They're small and round. Remember, bark beetles are the size of a grain of rice. Relative to wood boring beetles that come in after the tree is already on its way to dying or already dead. And those exit holes are significantly larger and they can be oval or round. Woodpeckers sometimes flake off the bark of different trees to get at bark beetles that are close to the surface. Woodpecker damage can indicate that a beetle has infested. If you see flaking off the bark, this is typically seen in pine, specifically for western pine beetle, but it does happen with other beetles as well. That indicates that the woodpecker is trying to get at a beetle right underneath the bark. If they burrow deeper, that means they're typically going after a wood borer. Thank you, and hope you enjoy Oregon's forests.